and welcome back to Pyro 5610. Sorry about the delaying videos. Um, as you saw in my last post, I was working on hunting videos, which I still am. Um, it's still deer season. Uh, I got a couple more days that I can get out, so um, trying to get one. And I want to thank you guys for suggesting it. I don't remember who did suggest it, but for the winter series, someone suggested do a hunting video. It's been a lot of fun. It's been more challenging than just going out, sitting and shooting. It's been getting out, make sure I have the right camera angle, set up two different cameras. So I have one on me, one on the like field or wherever I'm shooting at. So it's been fun. So thank you for that. Um, but if you saw my previous post before that one, I talked about our wish survival challenge and I've been receiving things slowly. I do have a riot shield on the way. It's been taking the longest out of everything. I ordered it first and it's still taking forever to get here. But I will be testing that in a soon video, as soon as I get it. Um, but, so, I wanted to go over what I got so far for the Wish Survival Series. And I wanted to kind of go over some ground rules too. So you guys know what to expect uh, coming up. Because I'll link this video in the other video and you guys will know that. But anyway. Um, first things first, this isn't a 24 hour survival challenge. I've seen those on YouTube and I think they're stupid for a couple of reasons. 24 hours in the woods is just horrified camping. Uh, I mean, it, you can, anyone can survive without anything for 24 hours. You can survive without water for 24 hours. So you can survive without water, electricity, food. Um, the only thing you can is oxygen for 24 hours because that's only three minutes. That's the basic rule of threes. But anyway, so we're gonna bring our own food. I was gonna bring my own water and I still might, but I did get a straw just in case, a life straw type thing. Um, we're, we're gonna have, I'm probably gonna take firewood because I'm not gonna be out in the middle of the cold with nothing. I will have a saw of some sort um, just to have to challenge to see if it'll work out in the woods. Um, but we are going out in the woods I have a place picked out. It used to be an old camping spot that we used when we were kids, and we're just making it into our live, our spot for the night. I am gonna be wearing, because it's winter, I'm gonna be wearing an Under Armour base layer, and I picked out, I'm gonna wear my insulated wish pants, which I have on here. Also have these boots, which I have not done a review on yet, because, well, I don't feel like I can give you an honest review unless I've actually tested them. I have been wearing them quite a bit um, to all my range videos. They're really nice um, so far, but that's all I'm going to say on those because I'll give you the full review afterwards. But I wanted to go over today what I have so far, what's coming, and what I have yet to order. So without further ado, let's get into it. First up on the list is the Life Straw. I got it. Um, it's listed here for $8. I'm just going to tell you what it is listed for. I can't say either way because the way that Wish has been working with the holidays and everything, sometimes they're free shipping, which means basically they just add the shipping on to the cost. So instead of paying $8 and $4 for shipping, I may have paid $12 for this. I can't remember. I'm not going to go through each one in this video. Right now, $8, it's a Life Straw clone. And um, I haven't opened it yet, obviously. And of course, I don't have a knife on it. There we go. So, let me bring you up close and we'll show you what I got here. So for those who don't know, I do have a life straw. I bought one for my wife a while back. She just won one, so I got her one. So this is a life straw clone. Um, not exactly sure where the filter is. Let's see what it says here. Personal water filter straw. Um, oh, no! Oh my gosh, that's awesome! So this one, I don't remember the old Life Straw. I bought it like three years ago. This one has a connector cap, <coughs> so you can screw it right onto a bottle lid. Once again, I don't have one here, but you can put a bottle straight onto that so you can drink right out of the bottle. And then you can connect water bags and hang it upside down. So it has like a little tubing thing here. Uh, let me show you here. 
So it comes with this little syringe, this 10cc syringe, and I'm not sure why, but it does come with this little tubing, this little section of tubing, which I think is kind of nice because in all the water straw, you see people like awkwardly bent over drinking out of a puddle with a straw. You wouldn't need that or with a tube, I guess. And then it also comes with a little carabiner, if I'm saying that correctly, to that probably attach right there so you can wear it or you can put it on your back like that. So for science sake, I do have regular drinking water here. It's okay to drink through, but we're gonna see if the straw works. And uh, I'll drink all the uh, Chinese junk out of it. Mm. You really have to get a flow going there. Yeah felt something chunky. So I blew all the water out, I think. There's a lot of surface area in there because I think it's like charcoal or something of that sort. So it takes quite a bit to get it going. It sucks up clean water. That's all I can tell you about it right now. Um, but it does suck up clean water, so we got that going. So I'm gonna go over the next three objects and <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what their purpose is and then I'm going to demonstrate them. I, Tyler and I talked about not demonstrating until we get there, but I wanted to show you guys what all I got and if you have any recommendations on what I should get next. So the next thing I got, which I just got today, is a sleeping bag, Desert Fox sleeping bag. Um, the reason I got this one, I settled on it because it's rated from negative five to negative 20. Celsius, and I don't know the conversion exactly, but zero is 32 degrees, so I knew it would be around. I'm aiming for 20 to 30 degree weather, so I figured this one would do. Um, there's a bunch of writing on it, and it's all in Chinese. So I don't know what it means. Um, the pack itself, I mean, it says 190 plus 30 by 75 centimeters. And then it says a thousand grams plus or minus 50 and then it just says zero degrees Celsius. Everything else is like all the instructions and everything I'll show you is all written in Chinese. But I wanted something that would be cold like for cold weather. Um, I wasn't really worried about packability which it does seem like this has like the cinch sides which is going to be another fun thing is me getting all this stuff back in its original stuff. But, oh, okay. I was gonna say, is that how bigger it is? Okay, it's a pretty decent size one. You can't see it on the camera, but it is my height. It also has these, it also said, it has a bottom zipper so you can slip your feet out of it. Oh, it does. Give me one second, I'll be right back. Nice! So, I can see in the lining here, it also has cinch straps. So it's like a coffin style. All right. I mean, it's, it's not too bad. It feels really thin though. Like I feel like it's not meant for 30 degree weather. But if I want to, I can walk closer to the fire or I can walk farther away from the fire. Depending on how hot or warm I am, I'll probably be freezing because this does not feel that warm. But, it, I mean, it's decent. It's not too bad. So, I have to show you kind of what I'm gonna do. So I decided to display it all for you. And so I'm not gonna put this away just yet. I have an idea for it, but we're gonna move on to the next item. All right, moving on to the next two items. I bought a tent and a mattress. And another thing I didn't mention in the previous intro or in my intro, um, we're trying to keep it around a hundred dollars. I'm going to be a little bit over that with everything I'm getting because of all the suggestions I got, but I got, I wanted to get a mattress and before anyone says anything about me getting a mattress, why I wanted one, yes, I've slept on the ground 
And anyone who's slept on the ground knows that the ground sucks a lot of heat out of you. So I couldn't sleep on the ground in 20 degree weather without worrying about the ground sucking a lot of heat out of me. So I bought an air mattress and a tent. And I thought about buying a hammock. I did see that recommendation, but the hammocks are, what's the easiest way to put this? The hammocks are open on top. And then I saw later that you could buy a hammock on Wish and then a quilt that goes underneath it. And I think it wraps around, which would be really cool because I like sleeping in hammocks. I think they're super comfortable, but I didn't see that at the time. So this little gem, so I bought a tent and a mattress. Like I said, mattress came first and I was all excited because I showed my wife, I was like, look, my tent came today. Super small. No, nope, that's not my tent. This is my tent. Mattress, tent. And I'll get back to this in a second. But I'm excited to see how this works because it says on the site, you can inflate it with 10 to 15 breaths. And it did, did come with a kit. And I think I paid a little bit more. This one, like I said, it says $21. But I think I paid a little bit more so I can get the one that has um, a pillow attached. So I'm gonna cut to where I get this blown up. I don't know who lied on Wish, but this was definitely more than, more than 10 to 15 breaths. But, yeah, definitely not for comfort, but like I said, I'm not really worried about the whole comfort thing. I was more worried about keeping my body off the ground. And this is definitely a lot warmer than laying on this cold cement. So, will it work? Yes. Is it worth it? Not if you're looking for comfort, because this is anything but comfortable. But the pillow is not bad. Okay, yeah, the pillow is terrible. But, I'm gonna move it. Yeah, I mean, it's warm-ish, but we're gonna get on to the tent. Third one, which I'm sure you've seen on other websites, is my tent, baby tent. Now basically what this is, is an emergency blanket. It was $3 on Wish, once again, I think I got free shipping on it, so it was like six or seven dollars. But it, it's an emergency blanket that's large enough to be a tent. So, do I think it'll work? Yeah, holy cow. Oh God, that's another reason I want to get these out is like the thing that I've been getting from Wish have this funky smell to them. Like the Shemogs had an awful smell to them and one of these had an awful smell to it. I just hope I can get this back in its holding bag. But they say you can have these in your car, um, just for emergencies. There's a picture of a guy in here in his car wrapped in one of these. I was running low on a budget, okay? So I went with this. That tape. Oh God, it smells like a, the inside of a helium balloon. Oh no, it's a bag. It's legitimately a bag too. So somehow, I'm gonna get paracord. But somehow, you can make this into a tent as well. Oh no, it's just a bat. It's literally a bat. So I'm gonna have to find a way to support this. Might have to cut a hole in it to make it into a makeshift tent. So I'm probably only gonna use it for this challenge and then I might buy another one because it's probably gonna get destroyed. But yeah, it's got like reinforced like tape or something here to keep it from ripping. But we're gonna put all three things together and see if we can make uh, something worthwhile. Okay, so I put the mattress inside the bag because it only has one opening, so I just kind of dumped it in there. Now I'm gonna see if I can climb in here with my sleeping bag on. Oh God, I'm gonna have to go completely horizontal and go in this, woo! It's gonna 
think I could have my feet out of my sleeping bag. Oh yeah. Except my sleeping bag, you're riding up now. I mean... It's not much of a tent, like they say it is. So this is basically... Oh yeah. Okay. Now we comfy. Yeah, I feel like a... I feel like a TV dinner. And I, there's not much room for movement, so once I'm in here, I'm gonna be stuck. But I mean, I feel like I might need to get a different tent. I don't want to, because I want to try this out. Maybe I'll get another one as a backup. Because like literally, I can't even put my knee up the whole way. And I'm not sure if it's because of the sleeping bag, because of the tent, but this is, I mean, I'm literally stuck in this thing, and I don't feel, any warmth whatsoever. Maybe once I'm in here long enough, my body will just start to bake like a hot pocket, but I don't know. We'll figure it out. But yeah, this is basically going to be my sleeping setup, and I have a water straw right now, and I have a feeling with an extra layer of clothes, I'm going to be like like wordless essentially so let me take you back up top and I'll show you what else I got planned for this episode the reason I bought this is because I thought it would be like a tent of some sort and this picture came up with it let me see if you can focus on that yeah it's not that size it's literally a bag but this is a better representation of it. Right there, that top one. So, I don't know if I missed something, if there's some kind of instruction on here. Eh, I don't think so. It's good in a survival situation, but I, I don't know how anyone could use that as a tent. Like, I mean, if it's, if you need it in like a car or something, like it says, it can fit in a glove box because this is all the bigger it is. It would work. I, I definitely recommend it for that, but for camping, I might need to look into other options. So, going back, um, obviously we're gonna get paracord because you always need paracord when you're out camping in the woods. Um, I do have a pair of gloves coming. Nothing really spectacular with the gloves. Um, they're just waterproof gloves I found for like six bucks. I did get a jacket, which is insulated as well. Well, supposed to be. That was also supposed to be a tent. And let me see here. Yep. That's all I have right now. So it's still to come. Other than the bright shields take forever. I have a tent or er, gloves which should be here tomorrow. I have a jacket, which should be here soon. And then I have a survival shovel. It's like a multi-tool. It's like 20 in, or it's 20 bucks. I see it right here on my wish list, creative name wish. Um, it's like 20 bucks and it comes, it's like a long shovel. It all screws together and has different things in it. Um, I couldn't find a fire starter that I liked I'm hoping this has like a ferris rod because I have this stuff that lights under any circumstance so I'll probably bring it, which is not from Wish, but um, if there's anything else you guys can think of, um, like I said, we've got paracord, we've got the multi-tool, and we've got all this stuff to try out. If there's anything you guys can think of, make sure you comment down below as to uh, what you think else would be essential in our camping kit. I'm not going to buy a bag to put it all in because I have a bag specifically for camping and stuff like that, outdoor activities, so I'm going to fit all my stuff in there, no problem. I have a million and one backpacks, I have a problem. Um, and then I'm going to uh, I'm gonna get the multi-tool, and I think I went through everything else you guys recommended, but make sure you comment down below what you think Tyler and I should get that would be essential for your survival camping kit. Thanks for watching. As always, I've been Pyro. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Also, real quick, 
Patreon, link down below. One dollar to subscribe. I'm working on things. It's kind of hard to uh, figure out exactly how to upload videos because I want to upload videos that only you guys can see, like maybe sneak peeks or upload these videos early because this is going to be at least a three or four part series. So, um, I might just release it as one run on Patreon, whereas on YouTube it's going to be probably two a week, depending on how many videos we get out of it. But um, I, I expect it's probably going to be at least a three or four video series. So, I'm working on my Patreon. Please stay tuned for more things. Have yourselves a wonderful day.